Oh, waka 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 waka! Guys, this is Siphon here. And I'm doing my deck profile on my Dino Rabbit deck. So I have here uh, my Rescue Rabbits. And what these guys do is you have them on the field, banish them, and then you can special summon two level four or lower level uh, two level four or lower monsters with the same name. First, I have Sabersauruses, three of them, three Cabazols, and two Arabies. So these guys come out. And I would overlay with them, but I'll show you the XYZs later. Uh, next, I would try and get Tour Guide out. And, uh, as well as that, get a Tour Guide for Tour Guide or for Night Assailant, in case that one's dead. Um, what, what I would do with them is overlay for a Levere, which I'll show later, and I'll tell you why later. Next, I have Max C. What he does, I uh, keep him in my hand, so that if the opponent special summons quite a lot, use his effect, and I get to draw a card for every special summon the opponent does. I have an effect veiler, so that if the opponent is constantly using effect monsters effects, I can disable one of their effects, which will protect me, and hopefully survive, and I'll go for the win. Gors is like a staple. If I'm in a tricky situation, and my field is completely empty, special summon this guy, and then I've got a big defense. I've got three spirit reapers. Not many people would think to use these, but I like to use them because they can't be destroyed by battle. And it's like a, a wall defense for me, so the opponent can't attack and destroy them, so they can't get to my life points and delay the opponent. And it means I can get a chance to draw cards to build up my hand and set up for an assault. Next is my spell cards, starting with all the staples. We've got Dark Hole, destroy all monsters. Monster Reborn, special summon a monster. Heavy Storm, destroy all spells and traps. Book of Moon. The Book of Moon is quite useful because if an opponent is going to use an effect, monster effect, I can flip their monster down and it will lose the effect. MST, blow up a spell or trap, especially one that's messing me up, and I don't like it. Uh, Pot of Arvis is quite important for my deck, because if I use up all my level 4 dinosaurs, I can return them back into the deck and use Rescue Rabbit again, and then I can uh, get the dinos back out of the deck again and go for the overlays. Uh, I have two Forbidden Lances, which decreases the attack of a monster by 800, so that means I would usually target the opponent's monster, which means they would lose attack and I would win the battle. Also, what I also do is uh, if the opponent would use a spell or trap on my own monsters, I can target my own monster. And it means that the opponent would be unaffected by all the spells and traps, which means the monster won't be affected by their spell or trap. Forbidden Chalice. Uh, increase the attack of the monster by 400, but its effects are negated. Especially good for negating effect monsters or effects, especially the opponents, their effects, so they can't do anything to me. Uh, Night Beam, not a lot of people would use this, but it's like an MST, except when you destroy the face down spell or trap, the opponent cannot chain it on, which means they can't really do anything to you, so you disable them. <coughs> uh, next, my traps, is uh, Solemn Judgment, staple, pretty much negates near off anything except for flip summons. Solemn Warning negates any summon by ten, uh, paying 2,000 life points. Two Torrential Tributes, so if the opponent uh, attempts to swarm or brings out a big guy that I don't really like, then I'll wipe the field and hopefully I don't wipe out my own field at the same time. Next I have Compulsories, if I don't want the opponent's monsters going to the graveyard uh, so they can recycle, I'll return it back to the hand, especially if it's XYZs or Synchros or just high level monsters. It means it'll be harder for them, the, the opponent, to bring them back out. Uh, Call the Haunted. This is sort of like a backup uh, in case I need a beat stick from the graveyard to kill the opponent quickly. Or if a rescue rabbit goes to the graveyard, it means I can special summon it back, use the effect, and go for the dinos for the overlay. Uh, not many people would think to use XYZ Reflect. What this basically does, if the opponent were to target my XYZs, my defenseless XYZs that has no materials, to defend themselves, it means this will defend them. It will negate the, the spell or trap or the effect monster effect that targets the, the XYZ and also deals an 800 effect damage to the opponent. And last but not least, I have Dark Bribe. It's pretty simple. Negate any spell or trap, but the opponent gets to draw a card. Simple. Finally, my XYZs. I run two levers because if one gets messed over, it means I can get the other one and I can get my uh, rescue rabbit from the banish and use the effect again with the overlays. 
So anyway, means it's sort of like a staple, so if I'm in a tricky situation, it means I can defend myself a little while and hopefully as well blow some stuff up in the opponent's side of the field. Giga Brilliant is good for uh, like making beat sticks. I can summon a few monsters, swarm the field, uh, increase the attack of the monsters and attack and deal more damage and hopefully win quicker. Photon Pathoropter is for face down monsters. So if the opponent is constantly putting face downs like this, what he does is flip them up, decreases the attack, which means they're a target and easier to kill so I can win faster as well. Steel Swarm Roach is for opponents that have high level monsters that is constantly coming out coming out, which means I can negate the summons and destroy them pretty easily. Now the main part of the deck with the rescue rabbits when they bring out the dinos is to go for the overlay of Lagia. What Lagia does, he's basically a solemn judgment. He negates near enough any summon except flip summons and also negates any spell or trap except counter traps. Uh, Dolkas, which I have three of as well, what he basically does is negates any effect monster effect. So if the opponent read if I was up against another Rescue Rabbit deck, I can use Doka's effect and stop their Rescue Rabbit, which helps me and messes them up. Uh, I have two Utopias, so they're sort of like beat sticks. So if I get them out and the opponent is uh, attacking quite a lot, I can negate attacks and uh, it means I'll survive longer and hopefully build up a strategy to continue my assault. Shockmaster, not a lot of people use this one, but what he does is I can deattach one material and what he does is I can declare monster spell or trap and it will disable that type of card to be used that turn so it cannot be used so if the opponent focused on traps I'll declare traps and I can attack uh, directly or attack the monsters and hopefully don't get a mirror force or anything like that it means I'll get a better chance of uh, getting around their cards well I hope you enjoyed my deck so like this video and uh, tell me what you think in the comments below and uh, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.